lot. I knew it was coming one day, but I didn't know it was coming this early. I remember a couple years ago, I took school, and I said, man, I, um, you're a Hall of Famer from what, what we've done and what I think of you. And he said, well, if I'm in one day, I'm pretty sure you will be in. That was a rubber dome. We, we worked hard in there. I know it was hot, a lot. It was real hot, and we had the small locker room, so. And when we moved to the Davis Event Center, it was like, yeah, this is it's a different feel, and it was like, felt like we was doing something then. We had a good team, but we didn't have a point guard. And when we added Anthony, I knew that that was the extra piece that we needed. I never won a state championship, and then I had a friend that we got there, his name was Jason Marks. And with him being from here and us growing up playing um, AAU basketball together, that was a special moment. But just to be able to win that state, um, because the year before, we lost to Colin. I think it was in the semis. And then that next year, we beat Colin in the, um, in the championship at our house. And I knew we weren't going to lose at home, so that was, a, that was one of the best memories. Coach Cooper was a father figure to me from jump. And it was like to the point where we was his kids. It was tough love, but it was just knowledge being given. You can tell that he had the knowledge of seeing something special in his players. And everything that Coop told me and everything that he was brought to us as a group and individually, you had to pick off of it. You had to pick off of it and try to be the best version of yourself. And my thing was, how can I make him happy? How can I make him proud? And that was just keep putting in the work. Will Colmeyer, um, he's always um, motivating us and uh, telling us how proud he was of us and giving us gems. I don't remember any teachers, but I know I had two lady teachers up in the English hall. They was real sweet. They, they was re very supportive, but ICC was the best. And I can't forget Miss Missy, the dorm manager. Miss um, Missy was one of a kind, and she showed us love and support. And even when I left, I got a, a, a mail package in the mail for all my clippings. She would cut out stuff and, and um, laminate them and stuff like that. She sent it to me. Coop, Coop hollered, but Miss Coop was like the voice of reason. But she would get in, she would pull you, she wouldn't holler at you. If she did, she would holler. Now she would holler, but she would pull you in, she would get into your stuff more in that way to get you to understand this is, this is what we're trying to do, or you're not doing this and they're not doing it because you're not doing it. Ms. Coop was, was, the, was the glue to the whole um, thing that we had going on. And every day she dressed out, she looked more like a ball pad and coach. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony and his teammates, they were that kind of group. They were, they were good people, they were good players. They took care of business, but uh, really uh, uh, high quality and taken. Just uh, so proud of them. My mom was my biggest, biggest motivation. Um, I was just on the phone with her before I came in. And she working now like she did all the time and just try to tell her take it easy but she she's a big motivation to me and I, I tell her thank you all the time for putting me on that road um, every time I needed something of course she would be there and just a big motivation um, the strength of a woman you know, if I see her doing it and working hard, I feel like I can do the same thing. So my mom was a big motivation. So I just would like to thank everybody from, from the cafeteria workers to the teachers to faculty staff, um, Mr. Blaylock, Coach Cooper, Miss Carrie Ball. Um, I don't want to go into name dropping because I don't want to leave nobody out. So I just would like to say a big thank you to everyone.